Welcome to Multiversital. My name is Jake Long, and today I want to weigh in on the photo that Ryan Reynolds released with Deadpool and Wolverine with Hugh Jackman in the classic yellow costume. So personally, I think this looks really cool. I think this is one of the best ways, if not the best way, to do this costume. It looks a little more practical. It's not exactly spandex, but it has the classic colors. It's more of the astonishing X-Men Wolverine costume. It's still very comic book-esque, and I really like that. Hopefully, a lot of you guys like it too. I think that it's kind of just mainly a fun thing to do for them to, to bring this in, and it looks like Deadpool's costume is a little more colorful, a little more vibrant with the reds, and I think that's just kind of a fun thing to do to make the costumes pop like they do in the comics. And overall, as long as the actual story for the movie is good and the execution is good, the costumes aren't the most important thing. Having said that, I think that they do look cool. Also, along with that, I think a fun way for them to have Hugh Jackman's Wolverine end up in this costume could be a throwback to the movie Night and Day. So James Mangold, or Mangold, directed the movie Logan, which was going to be Hugh Jackman's last appearance as Wolverine. And James Mangold also directed the movie Night and Day with Tom Cruise and Cameron Diaz. Now, Tom Cruise plays this spy who at one point while saving Cameron Diaz's character knocks her unconscious and she wakes up in a different set of clothes. There's this line about how he says something like he can dismantle a bomb blindfolded or something like that. I didn't actually look up the original quote. But anyways, it says something like, I can dismantle a bomb blindfolded, so I think I can get you changed into some clothes without looking. Not saying that's what I did. I think it would be kind of a fun throwback for Deadpool to say something like that to Wolverine. Uh, maybe he could set it up by referencing the movie. Of course, for a lot of people, if they haven't seen Night and Day, if they just don't really remember that part, it might not pay off. But for those of us who do know about it, I think it would be fun. I think it could be a lot of fun. Since Deadpool breaks the fourth wall all the time, it seems like there's a good chance he would know about this costume of Wolverine's. And so he designs it and makes it based off, based off of another Wolverine that he knows about and gives it to this Hugh Jackman Wolverine who has only worn black costumes or jeans and a tank top. However they do it, I'm really excited for it. Also, I was watching a video by one of my favorite YouTubers, War Stew, and he was talking a lot about the Deadpool 3 rumors, and apparently there's something about Universe 838, which we were introduced to in Doctor Strange, which I really would be excited for. Doctor Strange 2 wasn't great, but it was good, and it introduced the 838 universe, and I've been saying that I think it would be fun to explore that universe and its characters more. There were a lot of great concepts in Doctor Strange 2, and I don't think we should just have Universe 838 pop up and then not do anything with them in the Marvel Cinematic Universe anymore. So I think it would be cool, given that Deadpool 3 is obviously a multiverse movie, that some of the 838 characters appear in it. Sounds like a lot of the Fox characters will show up, hopefully Daredevil. Sounds like Elektra is confirmed, and Magneto may play a big part. But anyway, let me know what you think about this costume. Let me know what you think about Deadpool 3. What are you excited for? What do you want to see? Do you think Deadpool 3 can save this multiverse saga? I think that they can still pull it off. Hopefully the rest of the movies are good. And I've heard more rumors about a potential soft reboot after the multiverse saga. I hope that's true too. But we'll see what comes, and hopefully, you know, we can just focus on enjoying what comes out in the meantime. Anyways, though, that's all for me today. Thanks for watching, and take care.